Now, we're switching into soft tissue here for a while. This is, I'll give you a classic history. This is a subcutaneous nodule on the forearm of an adult woman, and she has several other similar lesions on the forearm, and they're painful. So that's the classic clinical history of an angiolipoma. As the name implies, it has angio, vascular component, and fatty lipoma component, okay? And despite the name, these are actually not truly lipomas. They're probably more closely related to vascular tumors that just have abundant fat production. They're not just a lipoma with extra blood vessels. They have different, they're not molecularly the same as lipomas. So this is not just a variant of lipoma. It's a separate entity, um, even though the name makes it sound like it's a type of lipoma. The key is you're going to find the fat looks just like any, any lipoma or like normal subcutaneous adipose tissue. It's just mature adipocytes. The key is finding these little clusters of small capillaries. And right here you can see them. These little clustered capillaries are very tiny little vessels. So we're not talking about a couple of extra big blood vessels and fat. We're talking about these very distinct clustered capillaries. And if the whole thing looks like a lipoma, but I only see, like look here, if I see this little island of capillaries and the rest of the thing looks like a lipoma, I'm still going to call it an angiolipoma. Sometimes you have just very, very tiny foci of these clustered capillaries. Other cases like this one have very um, prominent areas. Like look over here. There's tons of vessels here. In fact, if you got a biopsy that just showed that, you would have a hard time recognizing it's angiolipoma because it only has a tiny bit of fat. So it can run a range from being predominantly fatty to being predominantly vascular and everywhere in between. But to me, if I find even a little cluster of vessels, I'm happy to call angiolipoma. Um, and the very helpful uh, diagnostic feature, let me see, where is it? I think it's in here. Is that within these little vessels, almost always, you have fibrin thrombi. The fibrin thrombi usually look more pink. In this scan, they've come across as more bright red, but they usually have a pink, smudgy appearance that separates them from erythrocytes. Um, and you can see that best under a light microscope on scans. It's a little hard to pick up that refractile quality of blood cells that makes them stand out and look different from actual fibrin thrombus. But these fibrin microthrombi in the lumens of the vessels are so characteristic, and they're present almost 100% of the time in angiolipoma. So capillary vessels, thrombi, mature fat, often painful, often multiple, and often in the subcutis on the forearms of adult women. It doesn't have to be that, but that's the classic scenario. All those things are what you should remember for angiolipoma.